navigate through. So when we're talking about how to master your mind and how to stop your negative thinking, the easiest way to think of it is, is through this analogy. Imagine if you have water, right? And you go up to a flower bed and you just pour water all over the entire flower bed. Well, you have flowers that will grow naturally and you have weeds that will grow naturally as well. Think of the water as your energy throughout the entire day. But the difference is you can actually decide where you're going to pour that water, where you're going to put your energy throughout the day. If you decide that you want to go up to a, a pile of weeds and put water just on the weeds, that's your decision. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to have weeds grow taller and stronger. Not only will they get taller and stronger, they will also get deeper roots. And the deeper those roots get, the stronger that that bond and the harder that it will be to actually pull out. Now, the exact same thing is true on the other side. If you go up to just the flowers and you could just somehow figure out a way to just water the flowers, then you're gonna have just the flowers grow. Maybe every once in a while you have a weed grow and you just pluck that thing right out, but you have the flowers grow and the, the bigger and stronger, the more energy and water that you put into those flowers, the stronger and deeper the roots will get and the harder it will be to pull that out as well. It's the exact same thing. The weeds are like your negative thoughts. If you put all of your energy into what you don't want and all of the people that are screwing you over or the things that are going wrong, then you're going to get more of that. It's going to get deeper and deeper rooted into your brain and harder for you to break that habit the longer that you allow it to go. But it's not impossible to break because if you stop watering the weeds, guess what will happen? They will eventually die. If you stop putting your energy into all of the negativity, you'll stop thinking negative. And so what happens is if you go and you put all of your energy into the positive thinking, just like the flowers, the roots grow deeper. They become stronger. It becomes easier for you to think positive. Now, I don't want you to think that because of the fact that you're thinking positive, I'm saying, hey, don't think about the negative things in life. Because a lot of people are like, well, positive thinking is a bunch of BS because there's a lot of negative things and you need to think about them. I agree with that. But I think that the more positive of a person that you are, the stronger that your roots and your brain are, uh, the deeper that they go in positivity, the more suited that you can go and deal with the negative things. <clears throat> if you're a negative person, well then it's hard to deal with negative things because that's all you think about. But if you're a positive person and you can put a positive spin on the negative things or find a way to make those negative things positive or at least say this thing was really bad and it happened. How can I figure out some sort of way to turn this into a positive, right? The example I like to give that really changed my life when I realized this was when my, my father passed away when I was 15. He was an alcoholic, long story, don't need to get into it, but he was an alcoholic, he passed away when I was 15. And I remember three weeks after it happened, my mom asked me about it and she's like, so what are your thoughts, you know, and wanted to see how I was feeling and I said, if dad knew how much good is going to come from this because of how much I'm going to change my life, I think that he would be okay with passing away, right? I was determined to take the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life and put a spin on it, right? Because I said, this is the first person that I've ever known that's passed away. Now I realize, holy crap, life is short. I'm gonna do as much as I can to impact this world. That's taking a negative and putting a positive spin on it. The more positive that you are, the more that you can put positive on something negative that happens to you. That's what you have to realize. So now, the other thing you have to realize is I know that, that negativity tends to be a habit. You start to notice yourself going down that path of negativity, right? If you notice yourself watering the weeds, putting your energy into the negative, what you do is you snap out of it. As soon as you notice it, you go, oh my God, I'm watering the weeds. I need to stop watering the weeds. And you stop watering the weeds and you take that energy, you take that water, start watering the flowers. Start putting the energy into the positive, right? And a lot of people are like, but you know, my life is so hard. There's so many things that are going wrong right now. I have this happening and this happening, this, this, this. And I get it, right? Life can be really hard sometimes, but there's always something to be grateful for. So when you notice yourself going down that negative path, <clears throat> the best thing for you to do once you stop watering the weeds, stop putting your energy into negative is go, what can I be grateful for right now? That's the question to ask yourself. Oh my gosh, I'm going down this negative route. I'm watering the weeds. Let me stop for a second. Let me close my eyes. Let me take a couple deep breaths and ask myself, what can I be grateful for right now, right? 
you have food, water, shelter, clothing, some way to get this information to you through the internet which means you probably have a phone service or a computer service, which means you might have a little bit extra money to be able to pay for something like that. Even if it's just a couple dollars, you have a surplus of money, right? And the other thing that you can think of, if you have nothing, if you have no food, water, shelter, clothing, nobody that loves you in this world, you have your breath and you have your heartbeat, which means that there is still time. There's still time for you to turn it around. There's still time for you to stop watering the weeds. There's still time for you to put your energy and your focus into becoming a better person and making your life something amazing. No matter how bad it is, if you're listening to my voice and you're at rock bottom and you're addicted to drugs, you can wake up right now in this very instant and say, you know what, I'm gonna act like my life is a movie and I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna be the hero of my own story because we all love a movie where something's going really wrong and we watch this person, like the pursuit of happiness, where things are so, going so bad and we're rooting for him, and he turns his life around and makes something amazing of it, right? Pretend that you're in that situation. You're in the rock bottom, but the crowd's rooting for you to turn it around. So no matter where you are, there's always something to be grateful for. If you have nothing, you have your heartbeat, which means that there is still time. There is always something to be grateful for. So when you notice yourself going down the negative path, you ask yourself, what can I be grateful for in this moment right now? And that is the key to being positive, is to not ignore the negative, but to stop putting so much energy into the negative and stop watering the weeds and start putting energy into the positive and watering the flowers. So if you like this video, once...